daughter just for doing some repairs and things and I switched the door so I have to change out the locked cylinder to be the one that fits with the ignition so this one I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get out because I don't actually have a key for this um, but what I believe is that you take a four millimeter Allen and what you do is you stick it around here you stick it in this hole back here right and you got to feel around to try to find where it's gonna fit in it's a little tricky I'll be honest okay uh do we got no I think that might not I don't think that's it let's see a little tricky here anyways I won't show you me poking around in here forever but there we go I got it okay I told my daughter that this would only take a minute but I guess I was wrong if that's it it could be but it feels like it's stripped out I hope it's not oh I think we got it I think we got it really had to push hard on that and let's see is it coming loose yeah yeah it's definitely coming loose now so hopefully it'll slide out we'll put the new ignition back in there I'm just gonna keep pressure on this as I unscrew it you don't want to lose that screw inside the door that'd be really bad next concern is whether we're actually going to be able to get this lock out without being able to turn the actual cylinder okay so I got a I got a variety of screwdrivers I'm gonna try to pry this out gently without damaging anything here we go Perfect, we got that one out. That's what it looks like. And now, I'm gonna keep holding that in. And bring the new ignition, well, new old ignition, the one that fits the car. We're gonna put that in. Uh, come around here, let me show you that screw. So here's, here's that screw, okay? And that Allen goes all the way through to that. So what you wanna do is, there's where it lines up with that hole. So we're just gonna put it in gently and start to um, tighten it back up just don't want to strip that but just gently until you can get it started and then it should draw should draw the whole lock cylinder in let's see if it's going yet eh, I may have to give it a little more pressure Don't see like I'm doesn't seem like I'm well maybe I'm getting it now. Let's see. Yeah, there it goes. So you're gonna have to keep a lot of pressure on the Allen. You can see it's it's drawing it in. And you just want to go till it's tight. And there we go, we got it, it's tight, and look at that, boom. Looks like the door is working. Let's see if we can get the lock to go up and down. My panel is a little goofed up here, but not sure if this is actually working like it's supposed to. Yeah, it is. So, here we go. Perfect, perfect. So guys, a little hot out here today, but thanks for watching Joe Snowmobiles. Hope that little tip helped you gonna have a lot more little tips coming maybe not so many big jobs but just things that I've experienced here on these ML so thanks for watching Joe Snowmobiles we'll see you next time